Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. My name is Usman. Today I am going to start a new series with a new project. The project is an e-commerce store where we have two roles. Uh, first one is the e-commerce store admin and the second one is the user. The admin who will post a product and uh, receive an order from the different user and owner can also manage all the products like update, delete, and post on the other hand the second role where the user can see the products details and uh, the user can also add the product into cart and purchase it with uh, some address info so let's check the product functionality so here you can see the sign up component where a user can ourselves so the time I'm going to create a new user so name email and password home password and the name of the user so you can see here the user registered successfully let's check in the database you can see here the second id email name password and the role and the role is here the user so let's log in the admin uh, name email is admin at direct gmail.com and the password is admin and you can see here the dashboard category product orders and the users in the dashboard the owner will see the product details in the category owner will add a category like i'm going to add a category like fitness and the, the description is hi and i have added it and let's cross check the categories table and you can see here name and description so you can see here the category is showing in the drop down of the category you can select here from fitness and the uh, and admin can add the product details let me add another category called beauty products description is high and you can see here there are two categories that fitness and beauty products so let's add a new product let me so i'm selecting the image cycle and it will be in line fitness category and the name will be a cycle and the rating size and the quantity I have added it over 10 over here and the price here will be in the price is 100 and the description is and you can see here the details let me add another one so nail polish and it will lie in the beauty products and the name is a nail polish quantity and the price is 10 and the description is yeah. and you can see here to line the fitness and let me revive quantity 20 price 5 description okay so you can see here in the dashboard component the data details of the product is showing here let me update any product so i'm clicking on update button and you can see here and i'm going to change the price so the price is like 500 dollars and you can see here the price is changed successfully you can also delete the product 
I, I'm going to delete that dumbbell. So I'm clicking on the delete button and you can see here the button deleted successfully. And in the user component, you can also see the registered user and also uh, admin can delete the user. So let me log in the user. And you can see here in the dashboard user can search for a different category like you is going to search for fitness so i write here the f and search category and you can see here fitness is showing in the results of a search query so if i write here the beauty and you can see here the beauty category is showing in the result of search query so let me refresh the component and do products on fitness and you can see here in the fitness category we only have uh, this product cycle and uh, i'm going to click on beauty products so you can see here we have only one beauty product card nail polish the user can also add to cart this product and you can see here success message product added to cart successfully and user can also view his card and the bill so if user want to add the quantity so can with this button if i'm clicking on plus you can see here bill is changed and the quantity will also increased so user can also place the order with this button so i'm clicking on this button and uh, the user can also put here the, the order details like address mean Pakistan description and the payment method cash card and place and in this component you can see the past order history over here so order ID amount description payment method address and the date and in this component user can also update his profile like his, his uh, profile picture his username and so uh, one last thing let me log in the owner of the e-commerce store so in at their gmail.com and the password is admin in the dashboard the admin can also search the product with the their product name like if i select the cycle over here in the response of the search query the related product is showing here if i write n and search product you can see here the nail policy is showing in this part i gave you the complete overview of this project so in the second part we will see the detail in the implementation of this project so let's wait for that hope you like this video like subscribe my channel thank you